In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform my arms from this into becoming one of the most dominant parts of my physique. I've been training for the past seven years as a myself, PT, as a fitness coach. I'm going to give you all the information I've gathered over that time on how to grow your biceps in the fastest and most efficient way possible. The first thing is form and technique. When doing any bicep exercises, there are three things you want to keep in mind. Range of motion, contraction, and focusing on the negatives, the coming down parts. With your biceps, you're able to get a very good range of motion all the way up, all the way down. I know, it's very obvious, but compare that to your wrists or your traps. If you're training forearms, for example, all you can do is wrist curls, just up, down, as so. Traps, just shrugs, as so. Meaning to compensate for that lack of range of motion, you gotta add a lot more reps, a lot more sets. But with biceps, you don't have too much range of motion, you don't actually need to train them that often. You just gotta make use of that range of motion to optimize the growth and hit it in the most effective way possible. Second part is contraction. With contraction, you need to squeeze at the top for two seconds, I would recommend for every rep that you do. A lot of research shows that at the top, you will get significantly more EMG muscle activation, giving you more growth and naturally will accelerate your bicep development. The third part is the negatives. So a lot of research also shows that your biceps mostly grow when focusing on the stretch position. And by focusing on the negatives, you're able to get an extremely deep stretch, which builds up the tension. And by combining that with the forward motion and combining that with a really good contraction and a nice squeeze at the top, you're able to get extremely fast development if you implement all those three. Next up is exercise selection. The top three bicep exercises are incline curls, because you target the bracci and able to give you a high your peak as well when posing. I know it's a very basic exercise, but it's mentioned so much for a reason and just so extremely effective. Second is hammer curls. We're able to target the long head of your biceps as well as get more forearm engagement. And thirdly is preacher curls. I find these give you an extremely good stretch. And if you go to the top, squeeze, it will optimize the negatives as well as the contraction, giving you best of both worlds. And when training biceps, I would actually advise to use cables rather than dumbbells. Reason being, with cables, you have consistent tension throughout the whole exercise because the cable is constantly trying to pull you back. While with dumbbells, when you're at the bottom, you're leaving your arms at a rested position. And compared to cables, it still works, still very effective to do with dumbbells, but you are leaving gains on the table they could have had if you kept that tension going. And with cables as well, another good exercise is high bicep curls, where you have your arms quite high up, and cables at almost the highest setting, right next to your head, right above it, and curl it in. Mainly because your biceps grow when they're targeted at different angles, different positions, while you're doing incline curls, decline curls, standing curls, etc. So when you're able to do them at an incline, where your arms are slightly behind you, Preacher, arms a little bit in front of you, and then high grip curls, an extra angle you could add just to target your biceps from a different way, uh, as well as because it's a cable exercise, you're able to keep the tension consistently as well. And trust me, it burns after the third set. Another tip as well, if you are really want to get the most out of your biceps training, is to implement isometric holds in between the sets that you are doing. An example of this is, let's say you're doing standing bicep curls. You would do five reps, keep your arms down for 10 seconds, but your arms are slightly elevated, so the biceps and forearms are still engaged, they're not fully relaxed. Then do five more reps, wait for 10 seconds and do five more, 15 reps in total. When you do this, you're able to get an extreme activation of the bicep and forearm muscles and feel huge amounts of tension because your arms are stretched for such a long duration of time, as well as their contraction begins to hurt a lot more because of all the build up pressure. If you're someone who doesn't get sore after doing biceps or you're feeling you're training hard enough, even though you're increasing the weight, adding this will really help to get those doms going and flowing. Now, how often should you train your biceps? I would recommend you train them two to three times a week. Anything more than that can be a bit excessive because you want to give them time to recover before your next session. I'll put a sample program on screen. Now, in that sample program, you'll notice that some of them are rep ranges of 10 to 15, high rep ranges. Some are a bit lower, five to eight reps per set. Reason being is because your bicep is mostly dominated by fast twitch muscle fibers, but it only dominates by 5%, meaning there's a lot of 
slow twitch muscle fibers as well which is why it's good to have a mix of heavyweight as well as lightweight and high reps to get the balance going to optimize the most of them because most people what they just do is just hypertrophy stuff 10 to 15 reps for the biceps that's it never go heavy on low reps but like i mentioned when you don't do that you are leaving a lot of gains on the table now if you do have any questions about any certain bicep exercises that i didn't mention do put it down in the comments down below i'll be happy to get back to you if you like one-to-one -one private online coaching with me or custom programs there'll be a link in the description for a call with me if you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe it doesn't cost you a thing it really helps me out and as usual thank you for your time and attention valuable resource and i appreciate you giving it to me see you in the next one capiche